So if I keep two ghost quarters in the main board is a is a must. Probably two shadow doubts is here. What is that? Oh, true. Ooh, soldier allies. All right. Huh. Shy hydras are really good. I worked with those back in the day in what uh high school when I was uh. Uh, what, uh, audio kid or audio video kid. Yeah. Creature spell, creature spell. Good old, ooh, that is nasty. Yep, verdict or bust. Not sure if I want to fetch right now, because he doesn't have Leon and Arbiter out yet. But I'm thinking he will he will run Leon and Arbiter. I gotta be careful about that. We need to draw into more lands here. Spell centers are nowhere to be found. Okay, Reman is good here. It helps us even uh, delay their opponent. Actually, we can't even play against this Stalia here. Yeah, we should fetch now. Pathalia. Then red white. Yeah. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we can get a plane here. You wanna take more damage? I think getting playing here is good. Yeah, the reman's pretty bad, but the reason why I say, okay. the reason I say is because we can, uh, we're not under with Thalia on the board, but just to like time walk them so we can get another draw, just to have reman replace itself for another land, hopefully. Should have fetched on his end step. True. All right, so he's going in for two here or three. And yeah, the reason why I didn't fetch that part was because of a. Uh, I wanted to draw more lands, so I can get up to the cryptic command here. And I can't cast any of these sphinxes. So we're going to need to reman whatever he plays just to have reman replace itself here. Red, white, black, green. Let's see, what is he playing for green? Three stars or another nasty. You can play another one. See. How lucky do I feel about finding a, a white source and then drawing it to a Supreme Verdict next turn? Let's see. Venture is the battlefield on your control. Put plus one plus one counter on him. I should have reman it just to get a land drop there. But we still have the thing twice. Alright, so I should just, uh, if I ever want to draw more lands, just to forget about this here. Hold on. Mm, yeah. I want to reman leaving the white open just in case we draw into path. We dig. It's a hollow fountain. He has two cards left in hand. We're taking six here, we're down to ten. If we draw Supreme Verdict, that'd be nice. Why Sun Zenith? We drew all the 
high mana cost stuff here, but yeah. And to pay two here. Put a thing on his beacon combat. Fog and draw, basically. Yep. Tap your team, draw a card. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yep. So you don't believe in the deck thinning or uh, helping to draw the fourth land by not fetching here? Yeah, the math is pretty off, but it's super little. It's not cast your mage. I don't think that does it here. So what, what could we do? Snap cast your mage. Block here. Path here. Take five. That's all we can do literally. Fetching is better. Alright, I believe you. Especially if you have a master's student in mathematics, I'd believe you there. Yep. Doesn't have anything else to play, so we'll take five, because we block here, path here. He has first strike, this has nothing else, so we do exactly that. I cast your mage. Path. It's too little to be messing up your temple slash mana. Does he have his own path? Yeah, he's on his own path. Take five. We'll take nine, actually. Can't do anything about that here. Yep. And go to game two now. Should be drawn with think twice. What is the reasoning for that? Because if you drew with think twice... We would have got planes and supreme verdict. Hmm. Supreme verdict was what we we're looking for. Okay, most of those creatures are probably. Yeah, we don't even have Knight of Souls, so it doesn't matter. By Marvel Wrath, Elspeth, Ruined Halo could be a thing. Put that here. Timely could be a thing. Yeah. But uh, the WAF only has four uh, paths and three Supreme Verdicts here. Okay. Don't like Halo. Put those back here. Timely looks cool here. I think one time it would look cool. Cryptic seems like a lot of mana here. Do that. Do that. Yeah, I can see the reasoning there. Yeah, they get enormous big, but these will give us uh, three soldiers at least. Not sure if running one or two. That's true. Something like this. Uh, Wrath, Elspeth, and two Timelies. What it looks like here. Yeah. Reman's really bad here. Shadow's pretty good. They're not going to be fetching. We need two more cards, though. You don't like Logic Knots either. Urail. I uh, can't really say your name right now to visit the sideboard, but thanks for the follow, man. Okay, we need two more cards. We can probably put in the third. Timely. Cryptic over Void Shatter right now. We can put in the Cryptic. If we take out the Void Shatter, we'll still be left with the minus two, what? Minus two lands. Or minus two cards, I mean. Right now, we're at perfect 60. It's either we take out the Void Shatter for a Timely.
All right, we're taking out. Thinking the logic knot here, putting back in a timely. We can put in a thasis. We really can't. We gotta submit now. Okay. Not sure how many uh timers we brought in, but I think it's pretty good here. Wrath of God seems good. Select snap keep. I really like this hand here, keeping that. So I'll probably wrath the board as soon as he has like what six creatures on the field? Or if we probably die next turn. Probably not actually. Yep. An elite vanguard basically. Here we'll pull out the good old Lotus Strand. Yeah. Probably four creatures for sure. Waiting, we'll take in three here. That is haste as well. It's nasty. Taking five actually, we're at fifteen. I think I'll get a basic island here, just to draw off of Think Twice. I don't want to deal so much damage to myself here. Get our basic island. Think twice. Yes. Okay. That's for charm. We could be taking five again. Thinking here, we really can't do anything other than play the island just to flash back to think twice. Yeah, the chat delay is pretty bad. I need to find out how to make the chat delay like two seconds apart instead of 38 that'd be way much better our mental mage all right so they have a uh, menace Taking five again. Take the damage again. Gate or island and think twice. Yep. Alright, man. Thanks for coming out, dude. And thanks for actually playing against us or being in the just for fun or what was it? Tournament practice when we were looking for a match. And thanks for the games, dude. No problem, dude. And I'll let you know up soon. Gamer on Clegg. Alright. I'll for sure remember that. Let's see. We die next. We die like next turn. So we gotta do this. Breath here. We should have cryptic tap draw. That was actually a better... I did not think about that line. That's actually better than what I did now. Snap. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. This chat lag is too real. The next turn, yeah. That would have been a much better thing. We have Supreme Verdict for my uh bad moves here. We can probably take two here. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, we're getting really lucky. 
I'm telling you, the deck can operate super good. Just the pie is just not very well right now. The pie is being me. Should we counter draw here or counter tap here? Or counter draw and path? He has two cards in hand. Okay. I think here for sure we uh counter draw, counter tap. Pretty sure the line here is counter draw. And then path here. Two, three, four, five. We don't have basic swamp, but it's gonna do more damage to us if we try and get it. But we'll play here. Cause I'd rather uh make him discard two right now. Just so he won't do anything. Or so he just left top decking. Thalia. Everything twice. Dolly is on the field. Get us a water grave, and we can't. No. Dossies is kind of bad here. Not sure if it's terra bad. play planes here let's see I'm sure I want to do okay do we have to let's see should we do draw two or discard two here The thing twice is like clear card advantage. We can activate Colony to block here. So I'm okay with passing here. Two, three, four. Have I considered teachings in the deck? I did at one point, but I said I was going to get around to... Oh, yeah. I was going to run to um, testing around with it and seeing how it works, but uh, overall I thought it was pretty too much too slow for the format, or for modern at least. And sure, it'd be pretty good, but not really good that I'd play it, actually. Yeah, we should have called... Yeah, Thossies was pretty good there. Thossies colonnade block was good. We're down to six here. Nice top decking. Yeah, we do have a verdict. Yeah, if you want to talk about a. Uh, why think think twice is strictly better than uh serum visions you can talk to him like he's actually the forum leader or the thread leader of wait yeah uh the reason why scrying isn't card advantage for us right now is because we have uh sometimes we have a uh, what is it called fetch lands which could really mess us up just get the think twice real quick And we run like seven fetch lands, or some lists even run eight fetch lands.
Because I mean, like, uh, what Think Twice does, Serum Visions uh, replaces itself. That's a cantrip, right? Think Twice replaces itself also, but once it's, it has this flashback as well, and uh, it also draws you a card, letting you two cards, or letting you one card, I mean. Did I pass turn? Yeah, I passed it. Yeah, Amaloka has like literally all the answers you could ever ask him. You could probably ask him uh, more about this stuff about this deck. I he probably more. I'm sure he knows more about this deck more than I do. So if you wanna ask him questions, you can ask him there. That is true. So I guess our opponent timed out. Okay. He's here. Time reinforcements is pretty cool here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Time needs fun to cast here. Oh, we need one more. So we're playing the Flood Strand as well. Passing the turn. This is first strike. Put some counter. Uh, just snare that. Oh, we have to pay one more, true. Counter bounce counter. That'd be pretty good too, yeah. Let's see. Get our water grief here. Sphinx's rev is good. Should we attack with Colonnade? I think we should. Maybe soon. I always like doing more with Patience. That is true. Mm. Remember that or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may have ally creatures. Neutral get plus one plus zero into a turn. Uh, does that really matter now? You can just block. I think I'll double block the Thalia. Or actually, first strike? Yeah, it's first strike, yeah. Never mind. Thalia's not an ally? I always thought it was an ally here. Pass his turn. Yeah, you can see the. Now Sphinx's Red would be a win condition here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I had to pay one for the Thalia. Oh, rip. But now we just have too much cards. I'll play Colonnade. Uh... Lee Bu B Knight, thanks for the follow, man. I think I want to path Thalia here now. Just because I'm tired of paying one extra thing for everything else. Yeah, we should start verdicting somehow. We're just going to attack here and verdict. If I haven't played a land. If I haven't played a land yet, no, I already played that colony, I'm sure. Yeah. The path was in my bad there. Really didn't need to do that. Ugh. Oh. 
reason I don't like activating Colony so early is because even if they have zero cards in hand, but let's say if they didn't, they'd still be holding like Path and stuff. Like they did the uh, last game. And I just like taking stuff uh, slower and easier. Like here, when they have zero cards in hand, we can like colonnade for sure. Yeah, pathing there was my bad. I kind of forgot about the Supreme Verdict in my hand. We could gain 6 life off the timely, but we won't get any uh, dudes off of it. Spell center, th spell center that. True. Let's see. Just every time I play Colonnade, I just don't know. Or every time when I have Colonnade, I don't know when to attack or when not to. Like right now, I know for sure it's to attack. Especially with zero cards in hand and nothing else on the field. And I usually, like, if I have, like, stuff like gas in my hand, like counters or anything, I really don't like tapping out. But in this case, I can place everything in my hand, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, one, two, three, four. It's cryptic, one, two, three. That's a void shatter, yeah. Just kind of like everything in his hand. Attack with both now. Yeah, he's at nine. Might as well. Colonnades come out. Attack. Now he's at one. So whatever his out is, he needs to like draw it now. Pretty sure he doesn't have any outs, we're just wasting time here. Or just letting us run the clock. sideboard again all right so did we discussed we have the three timely in hand we have the else bath is the weiss and zenith necessary now yeah he has no else weiss and zenith is something we probably think about we bought wrath of god in Probably don't need to bring Surgical. Probably don't need to bring Dispo. Appetite's a no. Logic Knot. On the draw. Is Aiden stay Zenith? I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, it's another Wincon, yeah. Rune Halo is not really good so far. Sunny Sons, not really a reason. Surgical says your purse doesn't do anything. Logic Knot, uh. It needs more, like, fetch lands. Or it needs more stuff in the yard. And by that, it's usually like fetch lands and stuff. That means more damage, or more more damage to us than them dealing to us. So yeah, we should submit. Go on to game three. Let's see three lands. What is it looking at here? Think twice can get us more lands. We have spell center up. Yeah, we're running four drowned catacombs. I'll keep it here.
right. Play Island here, keeping up the spell center for the Thalia. The mulligan in that opinion. Well, the reason I kept this because uh, this could get a Thalia, which might be played right here. Yep. Thalia gets eight. Another one of those. I think drowned. Catacomb. If he does, if he plays nothing, think twice. If he plays something. Hope it's a Thalian Spusner. See one, two. Have another snare. We can pull up here. Yeah, we snared this. See? Yeah, I'm down with snaring that. Ghost quarter. That's good here. Play that. I can void shatter whatever. We... Void shatter his dreams real quick. Opponent's trying a lot of lands, so last three could be probably one removal and actual stuff. Three mana for something. No. Yeah, I should have got to play the strand first. I think here I just void shatter. Timely's good. Let's see. Is that nice? Oh. Don't play timely here, cause I was I like fetched and uh, shocked myself just so I can have a, a six life. All right, so I can just hold up the hollow fountain for a cryptic command. Uh. Should we let this resolve here? Because I'm thinking we'll let this resolve and whatever else he plays, we counter. Oh, we should have countered that. Okay, what is this here? Because I'm down to either uh, counter the Thalia, or what is this? Just battlefield, put to that, okay. Do this. Counter draw here. Yeah, the delay really sucks. We should probably hit up Skype. So you can have like, not a delay. Like, so I can screen share you everything. And we can have uh, actually voice comms. So you could use like some what, uh, some co-piloting on this. I think here I have to timely now.
Okay, we're at 15. We have three dudes on the field. Alright man, I, I'm, I can understand that. So like, whenever you have like a certain date, or uh, whenever you're free, you can tell me. I usually stream, I know for sure I stream the Sunday actually, and Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll probably throw it up on Saturday. Let's see. They gain protection. Uh oh, they're gonna get white. He has zero cards in hand, so we probably need a... Another land so you can snap cast your timely. Yep. We're taking five here, we're at ten. No blockers can be declared. Okay, so we can snap cast your mage timely. Four, one, two, three. All right, man. I'll be sure to do that. Okay, we could do Sphinx for two. That's something in block a lot. Sometimes doesn't give tokens. Oh, yeah, true. That is true. Okay, so we attack with one guy. And hopefully he kills it. Taking the bait. Okay, now we snap cast your mage timely. Get more guys. Yay. That's some new next level stuff up here. <laughs> you did get baited. We're at 16, he's at 19, we have uh, 5 creatures on the field, he has 4, we can trump block for days. So far it feels pretty good. Let's see, what could he do? He could look for 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, if he gets another one of these guys. Protect from white, but we actually block with a Snapcaster Mage. So we're in good shape here, now we just gotta draw cards off Sphinx. That's pretty nice. Sacrifices a land to return an ally to his hand to make these free blades even stronger. And he's going protection from white, is what it seems like. He is. We need paths or snapcast image as well. Yeah, we get an island. I'm taking a lot here. So I guess just more gas for the sphinxes here. We're at seven. We have supreme verdict, so YOLO. Attack with all. Alright, later. Pass the turn. Let's see. One of those guys, yep. Yeah. 
And here we think twice. He has zero cards in hand, so there's nothing to worry about. Another timely, which I'm okay with. Uh okay, we can Sphinx for three. So should we think twice a lot? Take the two here, probably even three. Probably five if he gets a haste guy. We're at two still. So I'm thinking here we could actually uh pass turn. Yeah, time plus think twice. So that's the play here. We'll think twice at the end of his turn. Okay, do we replace the time, the thing twice in our hand, or do we flash back the one in the yard? So the sequencing should have been uh, think twice first and then timely? Yeah, I understand that now. Let's see. Let's either think twice here or flash that, flash the one back. Or think flashing the one back with the hand. Represent path like this. Yeah, the delay is pretty bad here. Okay. <laughs> I need to find a better way to, like, make the stream not lag so badly. You probably even thought sees him now, just to see what he has in his hand. Not sure if that was correct. So yeah, we should've. I just saw your thought sees message. So here I want to flash him back. I doubt he plays any instant, so I'm okay with flashing back this one here. Alright, we have land drops for days here. I'm gonna go ahead and thought see them. See what he's rolling with here. Path to exile. Do we want to save up the Sphinx's Rev for like one more turn? Or just Sphinx now? Let's see, one, two, three, four. I think we can play more lands. Here's so we can Sphinx for one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, when you start getting aggro, see, we can do it in four minutes, no problem. Okay, I'll do it now. Sphinx for too much. A good old six. Yep, we drew a buttload of lands. We even drew Elspeth. We'll go ahead and play Elspeth just to close out the game. Should have verdict. Ah.
That is true. I guess now he has a double path. <laughs> double path. Attack for six. This is the fake verdict here. Just to make up for my... Not knowing the plays here. <laughs> Ooh. Actually... I can discard too, just for doing that. Yeah, my sequencing is bad. Like, no one has ever told me that before. Or I've never seen it, actually, so... It's all new to me. Like, it just brings a whole, like, new, like... Basically just, uh, shun a light on how to play this deck for me. It's crazy. We're just going to town now. Just YOLO. YOLO everything. He has one guy in hand. Large round catacomb. We have an Elspeth activation I can't forget. Put three more tokens on the field. Here we go. Yeah, now after you point out everything, Amaleko, I do see how my sequencing is terrible. Which I'm really thankful for, because that will help me play better in the future. Yeah, we won't clock out by exit, don't worry. Sixteen his turns. All right. I guess it's just GZ there. I'm gonna activate calling and attack for a little bit too much. Yep. All right. So things I need to work on: sequencing. Seeing how everything happens.